Hey, what's going on everybody? So a almost a year ago, I made a video about how to create a timer in DaVinci Resolve. And a couple weeks ago, someone left a comment on that video saying, the normal timer is cool, but how do you create a countdown timer? Like play in reverse. And you're in luck. It's actually really simple. Um, so we're opening up here in DaVinci Resolve. This might be the quickest transition ever, by the way. Um, go up to effects and we're going to bring down our text plus. Now you said you wanted it to be 30 seconds, so we're going to create a 30 second clip. I'm going to create two, one with our original timer. So we're going to go up here, hit ex right click in the text box, hit expression, and then change this to be time divided by our frame rate, 23.976. And now you'll get a timer. Now we're going to go through, clean it up, change your right on from there if you want it to look the same. H anchor, make that left, that way it always sits in the same spot. And now you have a timer counting up like we had in the last video. Now this one, we're gonna go through and make it simple, even the more simple time code, just tells you the time code from zero in time code format. Now you're gonna say, but these are still counting up, we need to count down. Yes, I thought originally I could go through and I could just hit reverse on the text plus clip. However, you can't do that. You can't reverse a text. You can only reverse like a video clip or an audio clip, I believe. So we need to turn this text into a video. To do that, we're gonna use compound clips. So right click on your text clip, hit new compound clip, and you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it timer, and then name this one new compound clip timer two. Fantastic. And now that we have a video clip, we can go through, right click, and say change clip speed, click on reverse speed, and we're gonna do that to the other one, change clip speed, reverse speed, and now it counts down as it goes forward. You can see the playhead moving forward and the timer going down. Same thing here, it's counting down. I don't know why it's so laggy, but uh, yeah, it's counting down for you. And then what if you wanna go through and change the length of it? I recommend if you don't like compound clips, just make your timer the right length from the beginning. Otherwise, you're gonna notice we can't actually make it longer. We can only make it shorter. So we need to go here, right click and say open in timeline. This is gonna open up our new timeline inside of our big timeline. And here we see our original text plus clip where it actually counts up. What you can do now is go through and extend this clip. Let's say we want it to be a minute. So because the compound clip length is determined by the length of the clips inside of it, we have to change the text plus clip to make our compound clip longer. Go to the bottom where it says timeline one, double click there, and you can move this forever. Now normally you would drag this out from the right side, but remember our clip is in reverse. So we need to drag it from the back end, which is from the near the front of the video or going towards zero. Drag that out, and now we have a countdown timer starting from 60. So it's really simple to create a countdown timer. Hopefully you guys are able to use this in your videos, and hopefully you're able to follow along pretty easily. It's like three steps. Create your timer, create a compound clip, and hit reverse. That's it. That's all you have to do. So I know I'm three weeks late for your comment. Hopefully you uh, made a great video. I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, maybe consider subscribing, and if you want to see more, you can always do that. Other than that, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time.